Bennett Academy has had many different successful teams in the last few months. The girls soccer program hoisted a state trophy in June and their winning hasn't slowed down this fall. Let's check in on just how many trophies now have a home at Bennett in this feature presented by Edward Medical Group. At Bennett Academy, it's always a great day to be a Red Wing. But that saying has held a higher meaning to some athletes in the recent months. It all started back at the end of May when the Bennett Academy girls soccer team won the 2A state title against Wakanda in overtime. We told ourselves that we worked way too hard this whole season to let this be a loss as our last game. And we worked too hard and wanted this too badly that like putting that ball in the back of the net was one of the great like Mary Kate putting it back in the back of the net was one of the greatest feelings I've ever felt. And it wasn't even me that put it back there. Like, it's just amazing. We, we really worked hard. Fast forward a couple months to the fall athletic season with the girls' tennis team. They qualified for the state competition, where doubles pair Kendall Schrader and Caitlin Lee won the doubles title, something that has never been done at Bennett before. Along with Daniela Nendovich taking sixth in singles, the team took home the second place trophy in October. Our mentality was to work as hard as possible and play our best game because win or lose, then we could say we played our best. And get the first game, get the momentum going back towards us. And yes. We, yesterday in our semifinal match, we went to the third set too. We lost the second set 6 zero, And then we went right back and won the third set. So like, yeah. Like, I think we're going to bounce them back and like being able to yeah. them on the back on our side. We to be able to keep going. Yeah. Also in October, the girls cross country team found themselves winning the regional and sectional and making the team trip down to Detweiler Park in the two-way race. You can only guess what happened there. Emily Spellman helped lead her team to a first place cross country title. I don't know, I was really excited to turn in 2A for months. I've never done this before and was, I think it was, it was a really fun race. Um, we were really excited because it's been a while since Bennett Academy has had this opportunity to possibly um, be the top three in the state and we were all just really excited. Um, we were all pushing each other trying to get this title. On the exact same day as cross country, up in Hoffman Estates, the boys soccer team found themselves facing off against the defending 2A state title winners, Crystal Lake South, in the championship game. With their 21-1-2 record, the Red Wings rolled through their opponent and brought another state title trophy home to Lyle. Uh, elated, you know, it's, it's state is, hope, it, it'll probably set it in a little bit. It's, it's, right now we're all in the moment with all the fans here, with all the cheering, it's sort of like not set in yet. Once it sets in, you know, we're all just really excited, all really happy. Amazing defense, so much credit goes out to them. Um, we moved Anthony back in the beginning of the season, uh, and that was probably one of the best moves we've made all year. Um, moving Anthony played center mid for the first couple games, we moved him back. Him and Zach as two juniors worked really well together, pressure, cover, you know, we rarely allowed anything to go by them when they did. You know, I was there to help them out, um, but I really had to do that, you know, a ton of credit goes out to them. Are you keeping track? That's four trophies in five months, and we aren't done. After falling to Maris in the state tournament last year, the girls volleyball team came out with a vengeance this season, and they rolled through almost all of their opponents. They found themselves facing off once more against Marist in the state semifinals, where the Red Wings defeated them in two sets. And then, I bet you can guess what happened next. They went on to win the state title in volleyball, defeating Wheaton Warrenville South in two sets. I mean, I'm I'm so, so proud of this team in every way. So, yeah, um, honestly, at the beginning of the season, like practicing and stuff, it had been a while since I put it indoors. So, coming into the season, I knew our team was good. I had no idea that we were gonna be this good. So that's five state trophies in six months, two of which were also summer break. We still have two more seasons to go for this school year, and who knows what their count will end at in the spring of 2020. But we can be sure that those Red Wings are sure proud to be a Red Wing while hoisting those state trophies. <laughs>